goal. That's the end goal. Dude, playing Sheik makes me sad because I can't put a tag on because then it makes her recovery bad oh, yeah. or even worse. 26 TE is the answer. So 20XX is slip slope. It's As you can see, Mervis in the top left okay, corner. Okay, uh, Mervis, who's like t to the left right there, he wore a like homeless man 26XT. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Will crazy it. end of days man. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the end is near kind of thing for for his Halloween costume. Miho's Peach has actually been taking some some really good games off people. Really? Yeah, I think uh, at Casual Encounters, I think he beat Mouth. Oh, wow. Um, so Miho's Peach is actually looking really good. All right. Miho, a, a X Luigi, X Mario, X Brawl, X Game & Watch player. Did he play Game & Watch? He did. Wow. His Game & Watch took a set off my Falcon once, and it made me very salty. <laughs> Yeah, so Mio's been playing a lot of floaty mid tiers. Right. So now he's like, I'm gonna be a grown, grown, grown butt man and play a real character. But he's and still a floaty high tier. So that's fine. And and now his Peach is improving a lot, and uh, he is taking names. Yeah, you're right. He, he has. He's like dabbled with like Mark or Falco before, but but I think he's actually going to commit to the Peach. Yeah. Uh, Miho's uh, Peach is really notable for me with his uh, turnip game. He makes really good use of his turnips, yeah. so hopefully we'll get to see that uh, as we see him pull a turnip to start the match. Oh, uh, Miho has a lead. It's over. Now, these two players play a lot. They're, they're good friends in the Arlington oh, area. Yeah. So that makes upsets more likely to happen. Uh, yeah. And Miho did, I think, outplace uh, Jaewoo at the last casual encounter. Really? Yeah. That's that's huge. Yeah, Miho's always they may been. Have tied. Miho has always been like like top 30 area, but he but, but I think he wants to be better. And he's been top 30 area with Luigi and Mario. So right, right. Just the character change is huge. Ooh. So the turnip game cool. coming in. Yep. And obviously, turnips are even more important in this matchup, where yeah, it's it's really Peach is only like spacing against Mark, right? Yeah, this matchup is really interesting because if Peach has a turn a, a turnip, it's like 60-40 Peach, but otherwise it's like 60-40 Mark. So if you give the Peach like control of the match, she she should be winning. Also, you you like might think that that Mark can just grab the turnips, but. But His Mars throw is really throw bad, right? Is horrible. It takes like 20 frames or something stupid just to get the turnip out of his hand, and he doesn't throw it far at all. Oh my gosh, Neo's about to take a two stock advantage. Mouth is salty. Be salty, Mouth. Come to one of that melee. Where's Mouth? He's off being salty somewhere, and like angrily playing Donkey Kong against the CPU Fox. Is he living out his fantasies of beating a fox with his uh, Yes, cough? yes he is. Miho was going for some turnip cheese, but he didn't get it. Turnip cheese sounds gross. I don't I don't want to say those words together again. I don't think that can be a thing. Well, it just sounds horrible. Oh. Down air, back air. Miho is playing Falco. What what is Mio doing? He is he is jamming out off stage. One two two oh six, that's when he dies. Peach on the ledge is such a sad character. Peach on the ledge is is a depressing state. Yeah, her her uh, double jump is super slow. So yeah. so sometimes Peaches will like air dodge on stage or like do a get up attack and that's like one of her best options. Yeah. Now what Armada does is he just lets go of the ledge, double jumps, and then like re-grabs over and over and over again, and eventually just and then eventually his opponent gets bored, and then he gets back on stage. Is that is that is that a legitimate option? That's Can what Mitsuki do does too. They just wait until they get bored and stop doing the perfect coverage thing, and then they go on stage. It happens all the time. Melee is 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 about making it hard or frustrating. For your opponent, as much as it is like making it easy for yourself, it's a mind game, right? Yeah. Mewtwo King is the best at just making it hard for his opponent. He is he, also the best at making it hard for himself. Yeah. That that is a very insightful of you, Moose or Poop. 
You can call me Moose. It is my name. Very insightful poop. That's that's. If your stool is black, that's a very insightful poop. <laughs> Forward throw, forward throw, forward smash. That's like one tenth of a peach stock. Marth has really bad Marthitis against Peach, right? Yeah. Yeah. Marth has a lot of trouble against Floyd's because of Marthitis. But the thing is, if you can like get them in the air or in a bad spot, you can juggle them for like 20 years. See, look, he's going to throw it really slow. Do you see how slow that was? And we've seen Jaywoo getting a lot of stocks off of um, Peach just being on the edge and right. completely unable to get back up. It's all so. positioning. Ooh, scared spot dodge. Two scared spot dodges. Peach with her weird free center stage options. I like that toad, uh, toad stall. Uh, Mark just outgrabbed Peach. Not a surprise. Now, here's okay. Neho is not playing turnips now. He's not. He's not playing the turnip game, and that's why he's losing. Oh, you're right. You're right. I think he's. I think he's getting impatient, right? Oh, oh. Saturn. Oh, Saturn boys. Oh, oh it's, it's done. Ooh, who could wanted that so bad? That would have ended the game. There we go. There's that turnip game he needs. Ooh, baller, baller turnip. This is not good. These forward airs. It's not Saturn great combo again. DI. Imagine being Mr. Saturn and people just grab you and throw you away. And you're like, honk, sadly. Well, at least you get to stay on stage after, right? You're, yeah. If you're a turnip, you disappear from existence right. very shortly after. Being a turnip would be rough. It would. All right, this is getting closer and closer and closer. We was definitely bringing this back. Interesting F-Tilt. Oh my god, I was scared that was going to kill. Ooh. That's it. Wookie Roo brought it back. That was Miho, a long game one. Miho was not pulling turnips at the end of that match. And that's yeah. why it, it came back. He saw Miho come out to almost a two-stock lead with turnip, turnip pulls. Yep. Uh, and then I think he just went to finish the game out because he had that lead. Yeah, he was doing a lot of dash attacks, a lot of scared spot dodges. Whenever he should have just not done that. You don't know Peach. I do know Peach. I don't no, know Peach. I, I've studied every character in this game extensively, especially Kirby. I see. How how much how much do you think is has been left unexplored on Kirby? Um I think Kirby's secretly a top tier. His his tilts have broken frame data, and he has an invincible combat roll to get in. His back air has broken frame data. Yeah, his back air is broken. He has a like oddly good wave dash, and he has a million jumps. That means his recovery is good. Just kidding. Kirby actually has one of the worst recoveries in Melee. It's very predictable. I mean, if if he had better aerial movement speed, right? He'd be like he'd be like he'd be like puff, but better. Yeah. And it's really Jay cool moves. how like if like one small part of, of like every character changed in this game, the whole game would be totally different. Yeah. They like could have made Samus a uh, a fast faller, and just changed one point of data a little bit, and she would have been a completely different character. That is that is really interesting. There, yeah. It doesn't it, really speak to the balance, but it, it speaks to the, the how carefully how carefully planned the meta is around right, what right. the what the characters look like. If Marth had like two less frames of lag on his F throw, he could do like F throw for his match every time. Just think about how, how crazy the, the, the like tiny balancing act of, of Melee's balance is. Alright, Wiggity Woo has all the all the momentum right now. Yeah. We saw uh, Miho basically lose his entire first stock to being above Marth. Right, yeah. As Neptune says, you never want to be above Swordsman. It's true. Unless that swordsman is melee Roy, in which case you're fine. You're completely fine. When you're against Marth, you're like you're like a bottle of liquor, right? You don't get thrown out. Right, yes. Ooh. Really great dash attack to get around uh, Wii Wii's dash attack. I'm actually really interested by Miho's counterpick to Battlefield. 
I feel like. Um, it's the second biggest stage overall. So, so it's like, Woo, Ban, Dreamland. So Miho's like, all right, I'll just go to the second biggest, but the like, closest thing to Dreamland he's got. I think FOD or even Yoshi's could have worked better, but it's all kind of a like stylistic choice. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that was almost super sick. Peach's booty. Peach's booty is actually really fucking good. Sorry. Esports. Very, very good. Esports poop. Very, very good. I, darn I tootin' good. Darn tootin' good. The hitbox is huge. It covers actually kind of like the front of her too. So yeah. you, you really don't expect it to hit you. Okay, so so like Peach's back air doesn't like actually jiggle in the animation, but her hitbox jiggles. Oh. As if she had a like jiggly butt hitbox. I did not realize that. No lie. Go look at the frame data. Her her butt hitbox jiggles, but her butt does not. Miho. What? Her bear. Miho is doing a lot of, of, of rogue dash attacks right now. Are you going to put it on stream, Typo? Oh. Oh, that would have been amazing. I want to see Jiggle Butt hitbox on stream. Just a twerk and peach? That'd be so hype. That could Ooh, be that a, a, a very good, good Twitch recovery. email. Jaywoo just has complete control right now. I want to see a, a like silly kill. It is good lead. There we go. There, perfect. Thank you. That was I've, that was the last two kills. Yep. Kill poked for us, man. Good stuff to Jaywoo. I don't know if if any of the stream viewers know Jaywoo, but Jaywoo has some very insightful like business articles on his Facebook page. So everyone should follow Jaywoo's Facebook. <laughs> you can.